with all the festivities and the fun and the John celebrations because um, as you guys know to do any project even if you're doing a small project it takes a lot of people no one person ever does any project by themselves and when you're doing a big project like an 800 page book or a 700 page book it really takes people pulling together it takes a village and I have been beyond blessed with um, wonderful people who've made this night possible uh, first and foremost is the person that pre-edited every single chapter, um, just helped to design the cover, published the book, went through all the nightmares when the printer did not get the book done on time, um, drove me all the way up here, did every single thing that needed to be done, and that is my wonderful, beloved husband of, what, 34 years right now. Right behind Rand, like hot on his heels, working her fingers to the bone, uh, planning first a party in Cleveland that fell through, doing getting the interviews last week, planning this party, writing the invitations, sending out the invitations because I was in the hospital with Rand with all that. Every job that had to be done and doing it beautifully was Jen Vanderslice, my PRA. the book all over Kingdom Come, so I hope this will help you lug it a little bit next time. Does anyone want to know what's in here? Go for it. Don't open it in public. Don't open it in public. Yeah, she can. <laughs> And then there are people that could not be here tonight that really worked so, so hard. Bill Harry out of London, who took so many chapters and corrected them and said, no, you have this wrong, do this better, fix this, tweak that, really spent months helping me. I appreciate him so much. Sam Leach out of Liverpool, who um, took his chapters with Ryan Epstein and said, no, 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 you don't have that right. This is the way it should go, and made those things right and who really worked so hard, and I appreciate their input, but we do have someone here tonight who did that sort of diligent research for the book, and that's Dara Roberts. And Yay. Dara um, worked on a chapter about a girl from the Cavern Club who actually went to the Cavern Club and saw the Beatles and she got all of the information. We thought that was going to be the easiest thing to do, to find a cavern door, interview a cavern door, and tell the story. But it turned out, Dara, didn't it, to be really hard. Yes, it did. It wasn't easy to find no, someone. No, it wasn't. And she, with the help of Steve Marinucci, and who else, Dara? Um, Larry Kane, did he help with it too? Uh, I, I can't remember. Well, several people pitched in so that she could find someone to interview, and she finally did get a cavern goer to interview, got all the information, and wrote the fan letter uh, about what it was like to actually love the boys and be at the cavern club. And so that was, it took months of work, and we really appreciate your help. So thank you, thank you from my heart. <laughs> the bag says rock on because I know you will. <laughs> And then this gentleman, this good-looking guy right here, um, when I got to the recording sessions, uh, obviously I know absolutely nothing at all about recording sessions. So I tweeted if there's anyone who might be able to help me with the technicalities of the recording sessions, I could really use the help. And my friend Patty Noah, who is taking right here, and the gentleman who's watching on the video, I call him PP, Posh Patron, Steve Jewell got busy and they started researching who might be able to help me. And they 
wrote me and said, you need to write to Richard Langham. He was the second engineer in EMI, uh, the Abbey Road Studios. And I said, I can't write to him. He's bigger than life. There's no way a girl from, from L.A., lower Alabama, can write to Richard Langham. And I did, and he graciously answered me immediately and spent forever um, helping me correct the chapters. And he would say, you have John Skinner being the chief of security. He wasn't even hired at that time. You have Mal Evans in the room. Mal Evans wasn't even there. You need to take him out. So he set me straight and really helped me with the chapters. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything he did for six months. So thank you. days I wrote to my friend Gary and said, I'm quitting, I'm not doing this book anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone who drove this long distance. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for John. Yay.